Well, hello once again from North Carolina. This time I am near Raleigh, Durham. Uh, and uh, long day. <laughs> here's the today is, uh, here's what I've learned is, wow, lighting is really bad in here. Um, I'm just wondering. There's no good light in this room, <laughs> which is, it sucks. All right, so I get real close. Um, here's what I know, and here's what I wanted to share, is, the, is two things. One is, uh, yesterday I alluded to the, uh, the gentleman that I met with, and he was talking about, you know, learning is never done. Learning is never, never done. And um, it was so great because that set the context for the training today that we did with this. It was a pretty good sized group. So um, they all got it. They all got the learning continues. Learning continues. You don't stop. So learning continues. Um, part two of this is that uh, who's on with me? Hey, Lisa. Thanks for joining. I could read that without my glasses. That's pretty... <laughs> It's been a long day. My eyes are tired and I can read what's popping on the screen. That's that's a good thing. All right, so learning continues and it's important to invest in that. And that was one of the key lessons the, the doctor actually started with today. My client, he, uh, he brought it to his group and it was like that was such a, a great message to frame where we were headed. Tonight I had dinner at a restaurant and got to talking with the general manager. Uh, somehow that just happens, you know, I speak with the GM and uh, or I sit down and somehow I'm talking to the owner, to the, uh, the head chef, <coughs> executive chef, uh, the general manager, somehow that just happens. So tonight was the general manager of this restaurant and he was talking about uh, the difference between um, uh, efficient and... Uh, elegant and what's good enough right and in a restaurant environment it depends on the restaurant and basically what he said it really struck me because he, he used this uh, analogy and I, I wanted to share it with you because it made a lot of sense and that's this depending on the context sometimes good enough is perfect it's perfect and I love that because I'll, I'll tell you what context he used as an example what I love about it is that, here's the true confessions part, is that years ago, um, I was deep into the corporate world and had on my wall of my cubicle um, a great big sign that said, good enough isn't. And um, to a major degree, I still believe in that. I still believe that that's true, that if you just pause it good, you'll never be great. Um, and that is one of the problems with entrepreneurs, for example, is we get comfortable, right? It's easy for you in your role to get comfortable. You're good. Why be great? So it really actually stops you. So good enough is never good enough. That said, the opposite side of that is don't get sucked into, and this was from my blog post on, on Wednesday, don't get sucked into the BS of perfectionism because there will always be something better and something more that you have to tweak. And it's like, sometimes just get it out there. Just do it. Finish, right? So finish. <clears throat> the context matters. So when you're talking about good enough, context matters significantly. And the example that, uh, that I wanted to share with you is if you had a car with a radiator leak and you uh, or it had a like a leak in its hose its radiator hose right and you brought it to the shop and the uh, the mechanic breaks out a roll of duct tape and wraps it around the the hose and sends you on your way you're probably not going to be happy with that it's like, wait, I brought it, I, I brought it here for fixing and you use duct tape, right? Change context. If you're traveling down a long, long 
desert highway and your radiators or your radiator hose springs a leak and someone comes by and they go look I got I got duct tape let's just you know wrap this up and we'll we'll uh, make it work you go thank you right because that in that situation in that context the duct tape around a hose is good enough and it's also perfect because it gets you out of there and so the whole concept of what is your context what is your context is the key for tonight and so really I think this goes back to your values it goes back to your vision it goes back to everything about who you're becoming and are you building on that or you just you know you're stopping with <laughs> it's good enough and letting it be because that is not good enough that's you just getting by on being good and good to good enough isn't okay or are you getting it getting through so that you can actually get stuff done being effective and efficient right and producing and sometimes that is the key All right so so I don't want you stopping that's the biggest thing is sometimes you get so wrapped up in oh, but I could tweak this one thing or I could do that one thing it's like get it out move on to the next thing if you need to come back schedule a time to come back and fix it for now get it out whatever it is you're working on whether that's well I always wanted to study piano or well I always wanted to learn Italian or well I have this patient or this client or this family member that needs this thing cool get that done do it get it done finish and negotiate for whatever the next steps are okay so that's it for tonight really that's it I wanted you to have that as a as a little nugget where you get to decide and put it back in context am I in the desert or am I the am I the mechanic in this shop it does it need a quick fix and get on the way or am I responsible for true elegance for bringing this out and making what you're producing absolutely yours so take that think about it do something with it and please please with this post please like it please share it because I I know on this one there are a lot of people that need to hear this message so please like this please share it and um, uh, please comment love to hear what you have to say about this one okay so from North Carolina I bid you a good evening I'll see you here tomorrow we'll keep this going and until I see you next please like please share please comment and do this next thing which is keep making your magic I'll see you here tomorrow thanks for joining me